Hello guys and welcome back. This is episode 14 of the build and hopefully in this episode I'll get to build the side windows. Now I spent a lot of time planning this and what I've done to make it really simple is design the windows in full and then slice them down into 18 millimeter sections and then even smaller where it needs to be. This is probably going to be a lot better explained on the computer but for the time being here they are there's various pages of the various slices and it's going to be quite simple just to cut them out and then follow them with the router bit hopefully that's my plan let's see how it goes while i was drawing up plans on the 18 mm mdf over there i had a plan change and that was, if this works, it's going to be really good to have a permanent template window that I can keep cutting around and producing exact copies. So rather than draw it out and cut it by hand, I let the CNC machine cut all these pieces out. It's basically a jigsaw puzzle that needs to be put together to create the window frames that I can then create any windows from that I need to in the future. Let's see how it goes. Let's head over to the router table and cut this template out. Time to take the first template off and see what it looks like underneath. And there we have it, that's the first one done and it's also the master template now. I'll use this template to make three more, just exactly the same as this. Here's my master template, I'm going to draw around it three times, cut it out roughly and then use the router table to create three more of these. That's the three templates drawn out. It's time to rough cut around them. Attach this back to each part and cut it on the router table. And that is layer three forward section done. If you're wondering why it's cut short here, it's because I think a 12 millimeter piece, let me just check the plans. There it is, it is, it's 12 millimeters. So we then have to put a 12 millimeter slot in there. But for the time being, I need another one of these. And guess what? I'm gonna put it on another piece of 18 MDF and just use the router to cut it out. Awesome. I've just cut the final 
layer four nine millimeter piece gonna remove it while i'm doing that you can see how dirty i am wow that's because when you sweat out here all that sawdust sticks to you so there's the nine there's the two well i think it's time i explain what's going on there is layer four that was the master template and that is the outside of the aircraft your side there i've still yet to cut the 10 mil recess around the edge for the window panes to slit in that's layer four layer three is the bit that's got the, the bottom section missing that sits on there like that here's layer three that goes on the forward section like so then we need a 12 millimeter leg that goes in there and that will be this friend here perfect and layer three rear is the 12 mil section and then to finish it off we have the nine millimeter that goes on top and that should be the correct dimensions then and that is what that section is going to look like just have to round over the inside edges and that really shouldn't be a problem That's what the windows are going to look like. Stick my head through here. What do you reckon? Very quick and quite simple, really. Obviously, still got the nodule to go on here where the handle goes for the window. I'll 3D print that, but if it doesn't work in 3D printing, I'll again make it out of layers of MDF with the CNC machine. And it's not. It's heavy as I thought it was going to be. I think for the final bit for me tonight is just to sand it off and get it nice and even because I kind of rushed the roundovers just to see if the whole thing would work really. But I think that's a resounding success. I really like it. And as I said before, on the outside, I just got to recess the 10 mil around the edges for the window panes. I'll catch you later. Good morning guys, it's day two of this build and I left you last night where I built the side windows just the frame itself. Of course there's still some bits that need to go on like the pencil holder here and the trim. These are the window handle covers and I was going to cut them with the CNC machine all the way down and I thought it's going to be a lot easier to actually keep them as a full blank all the way up. So that goes on there like that. And there's actually six of them that I cut in the end. They'll all get glued together in a second. Like so. And then I'm just going to get the circular saw and cut them at an angle like that where they need to be. So they should look something a bit like that if you can see better with the pencil. Let me get these glued and get a clamp around them to get them nice and tight. On to the next phase, and that is the window three base, the bit that fits in the bottom between the window three and the sill. It's just a little packing piece. And this one's a bit different all three layers have been put together to make the right thickness and then I'm just going to cut them in one go so the angles are all perfect because it's got three different size angles that need to go down. Generally around about 85 degrees, only 5 degrees off the, the vertical. And hopefully that will allow it to take the perfect shape. <laughs> if not, it would be a lot of sanding. Okay, here we go. 
Okay, as you can see, here's the base on. Here's the window frame. Now there is a slight gap where I haven't gone completely straight with a circular saw. It's got to be about a millimetre here, about half a millimetre here. So a bit of fine tuning, a gentle plane perhaps on the inboard face just to get that a bit better. But overall, I think that'll look quite good. It's a hole that goes in here which has a light in it. I'll let the CNC cut that, at least that'll be exact. On to the next part. Let's get the sill on so I can bolt it all together and give it a bit of strength. And that'll give me the correct angles I need to put as well. Hi guys, while you've been gone, you may have noticed I had a little costume change. A little bit cleaner as well. But I'm back and I'm straight into it now. And I made this temporary sill just to help line things up and get make sure all the angles are correct in accordance with the, the CAD diagrams inside. So the temporary sill is on. Then I went to fit this and then I realized this should have a lower sill in here that fits on. So I've not allowed for that. I'm gonna to have to cut a bit off. And you can also see now the angle mismatch between the two units. So the angles were definitely not right there. But we can adjust that now. Uh, the first thing is to make the lower seal that attaches to this. This is window free base lower sill and this part here that I've highlighted in crosshatch that sits underneath the window free base section and we need an internal radius on this section here all the way along and then a 6mm recess. To get started, it's probably a lot easier if I just show you, mind you if I'm good I should have in one of these corners here a picture explaining what I'm trying to do. And that is how window three lower base unit should look. And that's how I'm going to achieve the internal radius. There's still a lot of sawdust there. And you can see now how big the gap is here. Well, that's easily fixed because now I'll have to cut it to size. now time to attach the lower sill to the base plate. Now that that's all built, if I now attach the base to the lower sill and window free, it should make the thing a whole lot stronger and that will give me a real good chance to check my angles. That's the side wall pretty much assembled on how I want it to be. Next is the window guard, handle guard. Just give that a quick sand, make it look the business and then trim it to shape. Hi guys, it's day three of the build. I've taken the lower sill apart again. And that's, if you can hear behind me, that's the CNC machine going. And that's because I'm putting some of the detailing work in with the CNC machine. If we head inside now, I'll show you what we're doing. I'm back from inside. The CNC has finished doing its business. It's cut these lovely trim holes in here and in the lower sill plate. However, it didn't quite go to plan. I started off with a three millimeter CNC bit. 
quickly realized it wasn't going to be long enough for the depth of the hole. Switched to a six millimeter CNC bit and forgot to re-zero the, the Z axes. What that meant was it drove this six millimeter CNC bit straight through to the other side and left a massive hole right here, which I've now applied some filler. And hopefully by tomorrow morning, I'll be able to put a second coat of filler on and it will disappear. Crazy. How could I forget that? It's rushing too much, that's what it was. So a quick sand on this lower sill now and I can put it back together. After reviewing some of the footage that I've taken, I'm going to call this episode the end here because it's already way longer than it should be and there's still a lot more to do. So this will be a two-parter episode. And just to explain what's going on, in reviewing some of that footage, I realise that I've missed a fifth layer off this centre post here, 18 millimetres thick, and that just brings it out to the that just brings it out a little bit more, just like the real aircraft. I've got another issue as well, and before I glue all this up, I need to go and get some new glue because the glue I currently have is is just terrible. It does not stick wood together whatsoever, even though it is local wood glue. So I'm going to head out. And until then, I'll catch you later. Goodbye from me.